Hi, my name is George Garcia and I'm a Product Support Specialist with Autodesk Eagle. In this video, we're going to explore the properties of Surface Mount Device Pads, or SMD Pads for short. Let's go ahead and get started. So in this library, we want to go ahead and pick a component that has Surface Mount Pads. So let's look. We'll find one right here. Let's go with this one. So go ahead and zoom in. I'm going to use the info command. And we can see that SMD pads don't have a lot of properties, but it's still important to understand what they do. So here we have the name. Typically these will be numbers, but in this case, because this is a transistor, it makes more sense to put in letters for the basic collector and the emitter. Position. The first rectangle represents the X coordinate. The second field represents the Y coordinate. Angle represents the rotation of the pad. In Eagle, if you look at a clock, we measure rotation starting with zero degrees at the three o'clock position, and then we move counterclockwise to get the different rotations. We have a mirror option, which allows us to put the surface mount pad on the bottom. Now, in the library, you are always rec we always recommend that you draw footprints as if they were going to be placed on the top. So you're not going to have much use for the mirror command, but it is available if you should need it for a unique footprint. SMD size, here we see X dimension by Y dimension. You can use any of the values that are available in the list, or you can write in whatever value you wish to use. You have the layer, and you can change top to bottom. and roundness. Now roundness warrants some explanation. What does roundness do? So roundness basically miters or, or fillets the sharp corners of the SMD pad. So the higher the roundness, the more filleted or the more rounded out these corners are going to be. So let's start with, let's say, 25%. Okay, you can see it rounds out. Let's take it somewhere more extreme, 75. You can see now it rounds out a lot. Now when does roundness come into play? Roundness is usually used when you have a, a pad and you need a circular surface mount pad, maybe for a fiducial or for a BGA. In those situations, what you want to do is you want to set the SMD size in such a way that both dimensions are the same. So for example, 40 by 40. And we hit apply. And then you set the roundness to 100%. When you do this, you get a perfect circle for the SMD pad. So this is usually what we use roundness for when we need circles for BGA footprints or things like that. Now thermals, the three checkboxes, the first of which is thermals, basically says that the SMD can accept a thermal connection from a polygon. And these are used to allow heat to build up at the joint, especially because copper, as we know, besides being a good conductor of electricity, is a really good conductor of heat. So when solder, or you're putting a soldering iron to a pad that's connected solidly to a copper plane, it's going to draw away that heat and it can create issues with your connection. So thermals are the recommended approach whenever a polygon is going to connect to a pad. So having this box checked allows it. If you uncheck it, the polygon won't be able to make a thermal connection to the SMD pad. It'll be a solid connection. It'll completely engulf it. Stop refers to this feature here. Stop mask opening is basically the guarantee that the pad will be exposed copper. Without the stop mask opening, it's going to be covered by the stop mask, which is basically the green goo that makes PCBs green, or whatever color your PCB is in your case. So if you uncheck it, we'll see that it goes away. But in these circumstances, you have to draw it yourself, unless for some reason you do want to have a pad covered. Okay, But generally, you won't have this option unchecked. Now, cream is interesting. Cream is something that's unique to surface mount pads. What ends up happening, if you've ever seen the manufacturing process, is that a stencil is placed on the board, and then solder paste is squeegeed onto the board using that stencil. Well, the cream layer is what defines the openings in the stencil. So if we uncheck it, you'll see that the cream feature goes away. 
but generally you're going to want to have it on because that is the opening for solder paste to get onto the pad. The only time that you will want cream off is if you need to do a special uh, shape for the, the, the cream opening, for the stencil opening. And this happens with large surface mount pads. In the case of large surface mount pads, an opening the size of the pad itself would put too much solder paste. So you have to do special shapes, and the package generator eagle shows this. Um, in most cases, you're going to want to have these three checked. So that covers all of the parameters of SMDs in Eagle. Thank you very much for watching this video. We'll see you next time.